three, two, one. Let's go. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Everything is awesome when we're living our dream. What is up, you guys? This is the Lego Boss coming at you guys with another Lego review. Today we're opening up Lego minifigures, Disney Series 3, Disney 100th Anniversary Edition. This is set number 71038. It's recommended for ages 5 and up, and it has 8 pieces per bag. Retails for $4.99 US dollars a bag, and each bag comes with one exclusive minifigure. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I found these minifigures early at Alerting Express a month before opening. And it's crazy that this particular store has all these minifigures early. I mean, even the employees there that helped me found the minifigures were surprised. So anyway, without any further ado, let's open these up and see who we get. <laughs> all right, got my razor. Let's open up the first pack. Now, I can't believe it's been a while since I've done these black bag openings. So I'm happy that I'm doing them again. So let's start with this pack. And we got... Oh, hey, it's Oswald. Nice. What a way to start the minifigure series with Walt Disney's first ever character, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Now he has a little bit of torso printing of his blue shorts that merge with the legs, which are dual molded to represent his shorts and feet, of course. Some back torso printing of his little tail. And he has a new specialized head mold, which is dual molded in white and black with floppy ears, which are not rubber some printed eyes and mouth, and a molded nose. And his accessory is a clapper board that says Oswald, Act 2, Take 1. Possibly a reference to his first ever short film debut. Moving on to the second pack. This one uh, has like a bit of an airbag air to it. And we have, well, what do you know? It's Sorcerer Mickey. Straight out of Fantasia, we got Sorcerer Mickey. Now, he has some nice torso printing of his red robes with a yellow knot across, some shiny sparkles that continue down to the legs, some side leg printing representing his shoes and the rest of his robes, which are dual molded, some back torso printing. He reuses the Mickey Mouse head mold with some printed eyes and a little mouth and nose. And at first I thought that this hat was removable, but this is one whole mold of the sorceress hat, which has some printing of some stars and a moon, which, which makes this version of Mickey Mouse very, very exclusive and rare. And his accessories include a mop and bucket. Sadly, these aren't the mops that splash water everywhere. Also, I forgot to mention this when I opened up Oswald, but all the minifigure display stands all have the exclusive printed Disney 100 logo. Anyway, next pack. Please hope I didn't cut into a cape. Hey, it's Stitch. So here's Stitch. Now this version of Stitch is him in his red 626 jumpsuit, which has some nice torso printing, some leg printing of his small little toes. And what's cool is that they brought back the solo arms from 2018, which have some arm printing as well, some back torso printing of his tail and spine. And they brought back the specialized head mold for Stitch, but except he has squinted eyes, and his accessories are his two yellow blasters, which they came with two more for the other pair of arms. Down to our fourth pack. This one feels thick. And it's, huh, it's the Queen of Hearts. From Alice in Wonderland, we have the Queen of Hearts. Now she has some nice torso printing of her heart that continues down to the legs, or should I say the thick legs, which is actually this massive gown piece that's been introduced in series 15 and brought back for series 24, which also has some red and black printing, some back torso printing, and she uses this cloth piece in white as the little collar neck thing. And she has this brand new hair piece that's actually dual molded because her crown is attached on top with a red ponytail at the back. And she has two faces, a big smile, and this goofy looking angry face, really like the tongue sticking out. <laughs> and her accessory is a small little bill for her heart. Next pack. Go open, and we got. 
Huh. Hey, it's Dr. Facilier. So here's Dr. Facilier. He has some torso printing of his brown jacket with a purple shirt underneath, some leg printing of his red belt and shoes, some back torso printing. At first I thought he reused the penguin's hat from the Lego Batman movie, but this is an entirely new mold with some printing. And he only has one face print of his grinning expression, and his accessories include a small build of his cane and a card piece, which is printed on a 1x2 tile. Down to our six pack. Let's see. Oh, it's Mulan. A bunch of pieces flew everywhere. So here's Mulan. She has some nice torso printing of her dress with a dragon necklace and a pink strap that continues down to the legs, which have some printing to represent her shoes, which are dual molded. And she has this hair piece, which I'm pretty sure comes from Lego Friends, if I'm not mistaken, because it's rubber. Anyway, if you remove that, she has some back torso printing. And she has two faces, an angry expression and a happy expression. And her accessories include her sword and this small build for this cricket, which has which is printed on a cylinder with two extra pieces on the top and bottom for her to hold. Now it would have been cool if she came with Mushu. Anyway, next pack. This feels a bit heavy. And it's... Hey, it's Sleeping Beauty. Or should I say Princess Aurora, since that's her actual name in the film. Anyway, she has some nice torso printing of her pink dress with a gold necklace, some shiny gold sparkles that continue down to her skirt piece, which is actually a recolor of Princess Leia's from Star Wars, some back torso printing, and some arm printing. And she has this new stylized hair piece in yellow that matches her very, very well with a pole on top to put her tiara on. And of course, she has two faces, a sleeping expression and a happy expression and her accessory is this owl which has some nice printing and it's a reuse of the owl piece from Harry Potter. Next pack. And we got... Hey, it's Jiminy Cricket. So here's Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. He has some nice torso printing of his black jacket with an orange shirt underneath with some leg printing of his shoes, some back torso printing. And just like the Queen of Hearts, he has a smaller version of this little neck collar, which is a cloth piece. And he has his top hat in blue with a yellow stripe around. And he has one face print of his happy expression. And his accessory is his umbrella, but in pink. <coughs> Drop the pack. Had to make it look presentable. <coughs> Dropped a few packs. Need to make it look presentable. But anyway, now down to our next pack. And we have... Ooh, it's Cruella. Cruella de Vil. Anyway, she has some amazing torso printing of her yellow fur coat with her black skirt underneath that continues down to the legs, which have some side leg printing of her red shoes, which are dual molded to represent her feet. And she has this brand new cloth piece that matches with her fur coat very well. And if you flip that up, she has some back torso printing. She also has this amazing new hair piece, dual molded in black and white with two earrings on both sides. And she has two faces, a grinning expression and a stern expression. And her accessories include this one by one tile piece of some extra fur, I assume and this new dog mold for Patch, one of the Dalmatians from the film, which has some great printing of the eyes and mouth, a little collar, and some spots all around. He turned out pretty great. All right, we're halfway through the series. Nine more to go. Let's open this one. You got... Huh. It's Princess Tiana. So here's Princess Tiana. She has some amazing torso printing of her lime green dress with a little bit of leaves and flowers that continues down to the skirt piece, which is the same as Aurora's, also in lime green. And she has some dual molded arms to represent her yellowish gloves, some back torso printing. She also has this brand new stylized hair piece. And just like Aurora, there's a hole on top to place her own tiara, also in lime green. And she has two faces, a happy expression and a smirking expression. And her accessories include this frog piece and this Lego fight poster of her restaurant, Tiana's Place. Next pack. 
I feel some pieces in here. And it's... Hey, it's Miguel. So here's Miguel. He has some cool torso printing of his casual red jacket with some arm printing, some back torso printing as well, while also reusing the mid legs from Harry Potter and Stranger Things, while also having his casual black hair piece. And he has two faces, a smirking expression and an excited expression. And not only does he come with a red hoodie piece to swap with the hair, but he also comes with a separate head piece to swap with, with him in his skeleton makeup. And he has a smirking expression and a happy expression. And his accessories include his guitar and Dante, which is a reuse of the old dog piece from Lego City, but with some extra printing of the eyes and tongue sticking out. Next pack. And it's... Huh. Pocahontas. So here's Pocahontas. She has some great torso printing of her mother's necklace from the film, as well as her clothes that continues down to the legs, which are dual molded to represent her feet, as well as only one arm printing of her tattoo. And she has this brand new hair piece that's made to simulate her hair flowing in the wind. And once that's removed, here's some back torso printing. And she has two faces, a happy expression and a smirky expression. And her accessories include John Smith's compass, which is printed on a one by one circular tile. And she also comes with these leaves in orange, purple, and pink, representing the iconic song Colors of the Wind. Now, like I mentioned with Mulan, it would have been cool if she came with Miko or Flit. We're almost there, guys. Just a few more packs left to go. We have... Come on. It's the Evil Queen. So here's the Evil Queen from Snow White. She has some cool torso printing of her purple dress with a dark red strap that continues down to the skirt piece, which is also in purple. And she has two cape pieces, one for her collar and the other her standard cape piece with red on the inside and black on the outside. Once that's flipped around, here's some back torso printing, which there's nothing much. And she also has this brand new crown piece that suits her very well. Anyway, she only has one face print of her stern expression and her accessory is of course the iconic mirror on the wall, which has a legified version of the mirror himself printed on the recolored Chima shields in gold while connected to his pull connection. Next pack. And it's, hey, it's Ernesto. So here's Ernesto de la Cruz. He has some cool torso printing of his white jacket with a silver bow tie that has a nice shine to it. Some arm printing, some leg printing of his belt pockets and shoes with some side leg printing, as well as some back torso printing. He also has a brand new sombrero piece that's dual molded to his hair that works very well for him. And he has two faces, a happy expression with his teeth showing and a excited expression. And his accessory is his guitar, which is the same as Miguel's, but in white with extra printing. Next pack. And we have... Oh ho ho, we got Baymax. Here's Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. He has some nice torso printing of his chest with a little slot to place his medical chip, which continues down to the legs. And he has these two brand new arm pieces that are represent his inflated arms, some back torso printing, and he only has one face print of his two eyes. And his accessory is the small build of his charging pad, which is built up of a few pieces, including a printed tile, and could also work as a hoverboard. We're getting close, almost done. And we have, Oh, it's Prince John. So here's Prince John from Robin Hood. He has some great torso printing of his red robes that continues down to the legs, which have some side printing of his sandals, which are dual molded to represent his feet, some side arm printing. And just like Cruella, he has his own cloth piece around his neck to match with the robes. And once that's removed, there's some back torso printing. He also has a brand new stylized head mold of his lion head with some printing of his eyes and a dual molded crown on top. And his accessories include a gold coin and a bag of tax money. 
All right, two bags left. And it's... Oh, it's Pinocchio. So here's Pinocchio. Now this minifigure is very interesting. Anyway, he has some great torso printing of his shirt with a blue bow tie, some red overalls underneath that continues down to the legs, which are printed to represent his legs and shoes, some dual molded arms, some back torso printing, and he has a brand new hair hat combo of his cone shaped yellow hat with a blue stripe and a red feather on the corner. Pinocchio uses a traditional minifigure head, but with a molded nose, which could come in good uses. I mean, just too good use the head for a Mario custom, which works really well, but he only has one face print of his smiling expression. And his accessory is his goldfish, which is printed on a traditional minifigure head to represent a fishbowl. One last pack. Let's see who it is. Oh boy. And it's Robin Hood. So here's Robin Hood. He has some great torso printing of his green shirt with a brown belt that goes across that continues down to the legs, which are dual molded to represent his feet, which also have some printing of his green shoes. He also reuses Rocket Raccoon's tailpiece from Guardians of the Galaxy, which happens to be dual molded. The hips are in green to match with the shirt and pants, while the tail is in a reddish brown color to match with his fur color. He also has some back torso printing, some dual molded arms, and just like Prince John, he has a stylized head mold of his fox head, which has some printing of the eyes, a dual molded yellow hat with a feather that can be removed, to which there's some spares, and his accessory is his classic bow and arrow in brown. And before we wrap up this series, here's the minifigure checklist of all the figures included, and an instruction book like on the back that shows how to build certain minifigures that use extra parts. So overall, what do I think of this minifigure series in general? Well, I really love this minifigure series so much. Each and every minifigure is unique in their own way. And if I were to pick favorites, I'd say Oswald, Mickey, Pinocchio, Cruella, Pocahontas, Mulan, and Stitch, and Baymax. Now, as much as I love the minifigure series, it would've been cool if they featured at least a few more characters, but because there are so many, Let's just say the only minifigure I wish they should have included is Walt Disney. I mean, this is the 100th anniversary edition of the minifigure series, so it would have been cool if they included him in this minifigure series to make him rare and exclusive, or they could have pulled a Mr. Gold event where a few of them are in select minifigure packs, but who knows, maybe Lego has something in store for him later this year, but overall, this is a really, really great minifigure series, and for those of you who love Disney or collecting minifigures, this is a kind of minifigure series just for you. So what are you guys' thoughts on this minifigure series? Which minifigure is your favorite? Please leave a comment down below. Also be sure and like and subscribe to the LEGO Boss for more reviews like this. And I will see you all in another LEGO review. Bye bye